Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. In this video, we are going to continue with the trend in electronegativity for elements in the predictable. We are going to focus the definition for electronegativity first. Electronegativity is defined as the relative tendency for the atom to attract or to pull the electrons to itself when chemically combined with another atom. So, the trend for electronegativity increases up a group and increases across the period. So, this trend is just the same with the trend for ionization energy and trend for electron affinity. You are not focusing for electron affinity yet for this chapter, but I hope you can know that this term is the new term that you need to learn later on. So, if I want to describe to you how the electronegativity happen between two elements, let's say we have H and F here. So, hydrogen is bonded to fluorine. In this case, we have one line here to indicate the covalent bond. This one covalent bond has two electrons. So, I illustrate two electrons based on one dot red here and one dot green one here. So these two electrons will attract towards fluorine because in covalent bond between H and F, F is more electronegative atom because F got seven valence electron. So in order to achieve the stability, it tend to attract ataupun accept electrons towards itself. That is why fluorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. And the electron pair for this part will move towards fluorine. Same goes if I have hydrogen bonded to chlorine. Chlorine and fluorine are located in the same group, group 17. So both of them are more favorable to accept the electron. That is why chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. Then the pair of electron will move towards chlorine. Now, let's focus how you want to describe the trend of electronegativity across the period. No matter what, when you are answering your question, you have to write the electronic configuration. And please remember which layout you need to use, either PISAS or NSAS. So, across the period, as usual, we are going to use PISAS. So, first point, talk about the proton number increases. Then, effective nuclear charge also increases. Then, the atomic size decrease. This is because the nucleus attraction with the valence electron becomes stronger. So, I just interchange the sequence between atomic size and nucleus attraction. It is fine if you want to write the nucleus attraction first and describe the size later on. Both ways are acceptable. So, all these points are referring to PISA's layout. But you cannot stop here because you are not telling the trend for electronegativity. Now, the last point, you can say that due to the attraction is very strong between nucleus and valence electron, this point. So, the ability to attract the electron increases. Next, we go for the trend in electronegativity down the group. So down the group, we are going to use N sus. So first point, talk about N number increases, then shielding effect increases. After that, you have the larger atomic size. That is why further distance between valence electron and nucleus due to the weaker attraction. So these all are the point from N sus. But last point you have to add, electronegativity decreases because the attraction is weaker so it is easier to attract the electron so that's why electronegativity decreases when going down the group so i'm going to make a summary for the trend in electronegativity when going down the group electronegativity decreases and across the period electronegativity increases so this is just the same trend with first ionization energy.
And one more extra information, if the question asks you which elements in this predict table is the most electronegative, the champion will be fluorine. Fluorine here is the most electronegative element in predict table, followed by oxygen, the next to it, followed by nitrogen, the next to it. Please remember phone. Phone is for the most electronegative element in the predict table. So that's it for this video. I hope you know how to explain the trend for electronegativity when you are given several lists of elements. Please try to do the tutorial question so that you can understand more about this part. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye!